Okay, so I got a package in the mail today, and you see that little spot there? That's where the tow hook's supposed to go. Well, I don't want to drill a hole in the front of my Mustang to put my license plate uh, and frame on there. It's not going to happen. I don't want to do that. This from uh, a company I ordered from in the U.S., which is, uh, wasn't cheap because of exchange and shipping, all that stuff, but uh, well worth it. So I'm going to be installing this um, no holes license plate bracket kit on my uh, Mach 1. I don't want to drill the front of my car up, and uh, I think this is the uh, the idea, the solution uh, to that. So uh, hang out with me while I do this. I'm going to unbox it and take a look and see what's in the package here. Um, like all the software or the hardware's there, bolts, everything else that's going to go into where the tow hook goes, and um, it should be a pretty easy install. But uh, yeah, so check, I'll I'll be back as soon as I get the parts uh, together here. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, there are the parts that came with the kit. Um, there's eight license plate bolts, and the two of them are for the uh, bracket to attach to this backing plate here. That's the part that goes in where the tow hook goes, and this screws through that. And that attaches to the back of that. Um, come with some spacers too, and uh, looks like a Allen head for the uh, license plate screws. So it looks pretty straightforward. Um, that's all the stuff that comes in the kit. Instructions are pretty clear. Um, doesn't look too difficult. Just got to pop the cover off for the tow hook on the front bumper now, and uh, I'll go ahead and put this together. Okay. Well, there it is. The job is done. I have some spacers and a couple of uh, license plate bracket uh, screws or license plate screws left over. I did use a 10 millimeter uh, wrench on the back of the bolt, the little nut, I should say, the locking nut that come with the kit. Um, that's pretty straightforward. It was an easy install, didn't take a whole heck of a long time. I did use um, 19 millimeter and that 19 millimeter was used to attach the actual bolt into where the uh, back in there where it goes into your tow hook and then the other bolt. So that, that bolt that goes in where the tow hook is is left-handed. So counter to what you'd think, you'd uh, righty tighty lefty loosey, it's opposite on that one so it's lefty tighty. And then you attach the other bolt, which goes through the one that goes into the uh, uh, tow hook bracket. That secures the, the, the brace over here. It goes to the back of the metal uh, plate that holds your actual license plate. That's right-hand thread. So uh, <laughs> uh, you go left to tighten the one bolt that goes into the tow hook, and then right to tighten the other one. I didn't use any spacers. And once I had that accomplished, uh, I did put a little anti-seize on everything because I'm a maniac like that. Uh, I attach the backing uh, bracket with the license plate goes on to, and there it is. It's attached and done. It sits on a bit of an angle. Um, I could still bend that the other way if I wish. Not sure if I'm going to. I just leave it the way it is. But in the province of Ontario, you have to have a license plate in the front, and uh, that's the requirement. Unfortunately, and I did not want any holes drilled in the front fascia of my car, so I've got the original bracket in the trunk or someplace. I'm gonna keep it, but that's it, it's pretty flush mounted, uh, it's pretty secure. There's nothing for nothing complicated. Um, they say not to run through a car wash, so I'm not planning on doing it. I'll hand wash it, but it's on there and it's not going anywhere. So I've, I've, I'm, with, I'm legal now, I've got my license plate in the front, all right, all right. So that's the uh, the install on the no drill license plate bracket um, company. I got it from Go Mini Go. I don't know. I, I found it on Amazon, and uh, it wasn't too expensive. Well worth it. And uh, you don't have to drill in the front of your car. It looks a hell of a lot better than a whole bunch of holes rolling in the front of your car. Okay, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And those of you with Mach 1s out there who are unfortunately living in a jurisdiction where you have to have a license plate in the front, I uh, hope this video has some use and help. Uh, if you like the video, click like and subscribe. I do appreciate my subscribers. Um, until next time, this is 247 EVL. See ya.